take my gum out for this. We are on the cusp of the biggest bull run in history. I'll explain why that's going to happen in this video. I'll make it very clear to you because I'm having to make an emergency video now. Testosterone levels on Twitter throughout crypto are at all-time lows. Uh, 40k Bitcoin. Uh, it's gonna go lower. Uh, Is this how you get views? All right, guys, by the end of this video, we're going to be entering a trade. OK, be sure to like it. But first, let's jump in to the entire crypto markets. Let's go. OK, Bitcoin grossly undervalued at current prices, traders say, ahead of uh, Trump Harris debate week. Uh, I think uh, I think Bitcoin probably goes up uh, after all of this stuff happens personally. Anyway, uh, if we are looking at the general market, come on, mate. There we go. Actually, a bit of a, a rebound here, despite um, last week getting pretty bearish and lots of downtrends coming through. So this overall pretty bullish, but we do have certain levels to get above as we'll get to in a minute. Right. But we have to get above certain levels before we do get in to those big boy trades and those uh, those big runs towards the upside. If we are looking at fear and greed. Pretty bullish right now, okay, it's been uh, oscillating in the kind of high high 20s, we'll call it, right, for the past week now. This is typically a sign that we do get a massive short squeeze soon, so let's hope we can do that. Uh, if we can, great, so I'm going to give this a little bullish here, uh, because, uh, yeah, if we do dump today, I'll be very, very surprised, but anything is possible. We'll get to that in a minute uh, when we talk about the structure. Okay, if we're looking at ETFs, disgusting disgusting here uh, we will say that uh just i mean this is this is gross this is gross the past week and a half two weeks here we've seen hundreds of hundreds of millions of dollars coming out uh, from these etfs institutions are shaken right now they do not like bitcoin they are all exiting and we are going to zero we're not. We're not. They're, 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 this is this is all a game. This is a game to them, okay? Uh, and if they do think there's a crash coming, they're gonna be selling now so they can buy lower. It just makes sense, right? Um, if it, if we do pump here, then I mean. These guys will just pile in. They are pretty impatient. Uh, and if you are looking to buy with an ETF, guys, typically it does take time to do that. If you are an, an institution anyway, and you're going to approve it with your company to hold some of your treasury and Bitcoin, all this good stuff, then uh, it takes time to get those decisions come through. So uh, either they're out forever or they're trying to approve these decisions uh, as Bitcoin gets lower. And then we just see these massive rush-ins uh, from the ETFs, which just is the reason Bitcoin's been so volatile over the past kind of year anyway, right? If we are looking at the Caproli Macro Index, this is what you come here for every Monday, all right? This thing is currently, since yesterday, right, still orange. I know, boring. It's still orange, which generally just means sideways, expand, uh, slow down, not expansion. Uh, but you can see here, if we are looking at the whole of Bitcoin's history, guys, um, and we are comparing it to how long we've been orange here, guys, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty due. It's pretty due to change to a green. At least a green, please, not a red. Okay, but uh, as of right now, yeah, still orange. We're going to see next week if this does turn green. But uh, we're going to highlight all the levels that we need to get over here for that to happen. If we are looking at the liquidation heat map here on the three day, because the three day is what matters most here in terms of data. Okay, we can see that we do have a pretty important level here at 55.5. 55.5 is the key zone. All right, if we get above that zone, then it's time. Let's go. If we can do that before I finished editing this video, then we will bang it along. Okay, otherwise, we're looking to break structure and probably violate down into the low 54s uh, from the point where we are right now, which is roughly 55 anyway, right? So that's what's going on there. We just put out the free Bitcoin signals for today, as you can see right here, right now. We will jump into this right now on the chart, but if you want these a little bit earlier, as you can see, five hours ago, we put this out. It's basically when I wake up, all the trades I'm looking for uh, and the criteria to get into those trades, right? Uh, we also have the paid one, which is 10 bucks a month as well, uh, and that's three signals on altcoins there as well but yeah for free you can just you can just get this for free right let's jump in to the charts the long term for bitcoin here we can see that uh yes we have come all the way down to the bottom of this range okay we do have a trend line that has formed here based on previous highs that we are testing right now okay we're testing right now but what's more important uh, is what's happened in the past and what's happened in the past here as you can see we had this measure move we had plotted in if you found this trade congratulations uh, it was a tough one and a patient one at that if you did find it good stuff but we are in a volatile market so we were kind of expecting a uh, lots of trappiness coming through there but that's done now let's get rid of it nice clean chart we can see that we do have this trend line coming down this trend line is super important if we can get over it there will be some beautiful trades towards the upside i'm talking about a big beefy trade from 56 to 56 three all the way up 
to about, I would say, 58, somewhere around this. And the reason why I'm looking for this trade is exactly why we look for the long here, and that is the inverse parabolic curve, right? So if we zoom out, you're starting to see this curve uh, form now. We've been talking about this since this trend line here, uh, and we can see that this is a nice little inverse parabolic curve downwards coming through right and typically what happens with these inverse parabolic downwards curves is uh, that we don't hit the trend line uh, that was previously there right and then it just gets steeper and steeper towards the downside until we spill over right uh, i think this is too steep and i think we will be due a trend line probably around here so that's where I'm targeting. Okay, very simple. We've also got nice horizontals around this area as well. So yes, I will be targeting around 58.3, 58.4. That does make sense. Okay, you can see that inverse parabolic curve. It does make sense to take a profit there if we do find a beautiful long. Okay, uh, if, uh, if we do break over that line, it's not like super crazy. It's not like we go to the moon from that point. Uh, but uh, it is a better sign, a more promising sign. Uh, if we get over this trend line though, that's fantastic. And that's something where we should probably be expecting to test the highs um, or to test the most local high anyway on the daily in which if we do get over that, then the bull run is back on and we're good to go. All right, we're good to go from there. But uh, as of right now, yes, in a very looming steep downtrend in the midst of a dirty September. And uh, yes, you guys know what happens on September. All of these big boys, they try to book a bunch of losses to avoid tax. And that's completely legal to do, apparently. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they, they are doing that. And the way they do that is selling Bitcoin, selling big assets. This is what we call the harvest in trading. OK, so, uh, yes, we will be expecting more downside here potentially. But we have to look out for those signs and look out for those potential short, short squeezes uh, towards the upside as well. OK, uh, in terms of downwards trades, in terms of shorts here. OK, we're looking for a beautiful short from about 49.3 down to. Uh, and this is actually going to change now. It's going to get a little bit higher along with this trend line Okay, down to about 46. 7, 4. Still a 4% trade, still pretty good, and still something that can come into fruition this week, okay? So keep an eye out for that one. I will be letting you guys know for free on the Patreon uh, when I do get into this trade as well. But the reason why we do have this measure move here is just based on this most recent wave, as you can see, right? So we'll be looking to extend that down, and the new measure move will be down to 43.3. The reason why I'm not targeting 43.3, guys, is is because we have this uh, this gorgeous trend line, as you guys know. We talk about this every Monday, but I really want to hone this in with you guys, right? Uh, this is the point. This is the area that we need to hold for Bitcoin to remain bullish for the rest of next year, okay? <laughs> the rest of next year. For, for the rest of this year and next year, okay? If we can hold this line, it's very, very good. It's very good indeed. If we don't hold this line, it's very bad, and we should be expecting uh, essentially a bear market bouncing off this green line. Uh, that we have been bouncing on since the spawn of Bitcoin, since Satoshi sat in a cave and coded this up, okay? This is really the line we need to watch. If we do get to this line, yes, we'll be in a bear market, but also, yes, that is the cheapest time you can buy Bitcoin. So watch 30K, that is the time, all right? That's, that's the area, that's the zone, okay? But I don't think we get down there personally. I will be reserving capital for that point, of course, but... Uh, yes, this is the area I'm really looking at, right? The next DCA entry for me, guys, is 46, 47K, okay? And we will be watching that. And if we can find the short down to that area, even better, okay? Beautiful stuff. Uh, let's move on to the midterm. Hang on, let me do that again. Let's move on to the midterm. Did I say midterm? Midterm. Uh, we are in the middle of a turn here, as you can see, for Bitcoin. Uh, we, have, we have just also absolutely obliterated these liquidation levels. I know this looks messy. Okay, just give me a second. I'll clean it up. All right. If we are looking at this, we talked about these liquidation levels last week. We said if we do want to come down there, it's plausible that we do attack the liquidation levels. These are 10x liquidation levels. They're based on volume. They're based on open interest. They're based on general things monitored from exchanges. And we can see that usually when they do appear, we do hit them. All right. One of the easiest, best strategies for Bitcoin, just send the price towards these lines, okay? And have you take profits on them, okay? This is it, right? We do have some lines down here, which again, does make sense. I would expect us to hit these, okay? Uh, we don't actually have any towards any underneath that, right? Which is quite interesting. But uh, if we do want to finish off this wave, uh, it would actually make sense to come down 
tap on 49k and then bounce off the line all right uh, but we do actually have some above as well as you can see here right so if we are looking at this bad boy we can get rid of this now we can actually get rid of this as well um this is from the previous measure move if you did find that measure move again congrats to you Okay, free money for everyone. You just watch the channel, you take the trades very, very easily. Okay, if we are looking at this, yes, we do have one at 62.5. We did target that uh, previously in, in the higher time frames, right? That's what we're looking for. Uh, so if we can get up there, good stuff. Okay, very, very good stuff indeed. And we do have even higher targets here around 66k. Uh, but yes, I mean, this is basically a reversal if we get to this point. Uh, so yeah, just keep an eye on that one. Um, besides that, besides that, no, no other real blue lines, but I would just say the closest one is around here. So uh, my best bet here for the midterm, guys, uh, is probably up first, okay? Probably up a little bit first. Probably test these kind of areas, the high 58s, uh, also <coughs> the low 58s, sorry, and then uh, potentially obliteration down here. I am really just expecting a short squeeze. We've been going down for literally a century now, okay? Not a whole century, but you get my point. We've been going down a long time, so yes, uh, we will be expecting some kind of short squeeze here coming into this week. With everyone being so bearish and fearful, it just makes sense, okay? They're going to be taking shorts, all right? The market makers are going to liquidate them. You know this, you know how this goes. It's an ecosystem, all right? It, it, this is how this works. Uh, so this is pretty much the midterm. In terms of trades, I mean, again, I'm really just looking at this trend line right now. If we if we do bring this up on the higher time frames and then just cross-reference that on the lower time frames, you can see, uh, yeah, this is pretty much what we're looking for here. Okay, it's the same trade. Okay, I'm not going to change my trade based on the time frame. This is it. We need to get over this level. If we can get over this level, it's going to be great. Okay, it's going to be fantastic. And we'll be looking for a nice little trade up into this next zone. Okay, beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff there. And um, we may even hold this a bit longer if it starts to run. But as I said, I'm looking really to come up and test these areas and then dump more than anything. But there might be a beautiful trade here we can get on a breakout scenario. Okay, beautiful stuff. Besides that, if we can't get over this trend line, it's a pretty easy short, guys. It's a pretty easy short. We just short down here for 2% very easy. Uh, again, we have no measure moves really to support this here. Uh, we can say something like this with a channel, which is technically viable, but uh, yeah, there's not too much in terms of measure moves uh, with the targets that align here with the liquidation levels, okay? So uh, not fantastic on that front. Uh, we could do something like this, which is more viable in a wedge structure, but again, less validity around this area in terms of uh, the old zigzag ABCD uh, motion for all of you, uh, for what, Elliot, Elliot, wavy Elliot waivers out there all of you guys yeah um, I'm not really a big fan of the Elliot waivers but you could just say yeah it's a zigzag you don't have to ABC it all right that's just my opinion okay I've been doing this a while uh, and learning all of those can be just a waste of time on a lot of fronts okay when you can just see by drawing trend lines pretty easily okay anyway carrying on I'm rambling we can see that we're looking to break this low here 52.5 and come down to about 51 this is a bit more scalpy I will admit but it is a trade we do have liquidation levels here it is something we should plausibly be targeting okay and then we have this little gap here in terms of liquidation levels that I would expect us to actually uh, push through as an air pocket here uh, and try and get Get to these next levels uh, on a bit of a short squeeze momentum kind of play there towards the upside all right uh, let's bring it down to the absolutely disgusting degen zone just change change scene change the scene Degen zone is pretty disgusting, as always. We can see that, uh, yeah, we do have a small pattern here. Uh, quick disclaimer, guys, all right, obviously, this is not financial advice. I'm not going to get into that. The disclaimer here is don't take these trades. They're disgusting. And if you're a 100x junkie, go ahead, but that's on you, okay? That's on you. I'm not taking these trades. I'm not. I'm not doing it. Actually, I think I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm taking these trades. Okay, yeah, but... Just, just be careful, all right? Just be careful. Don't be trading on the hourly and below. You will get destroyed, okay? Normally with this section, we do just highlight random trades here. And if you want to gamble, go ahead, okay? Just don't bet the farm on it because you will lose, all right? This is like a 50, 60% win rate, all right? And if you are banging it all in, you will get destroyed. But these are the trades, all right? We're looking for about... 55.6 all the way up to 56.2. Okay, if we're looking for a short here, which is, this is just not, not a great trade. I'm going to say it anyway, but it's, it's just not a great trade here, guys. Okay, maybe if we can come, like, if we go up first and then we break down, okay, yes, then, then we got targets, all right, but this is just like, 
this is barbaric, okay? I just I just don't take this trade. But what we'd be looking for is to break this low here and then bang it down, okay? And then boom, boom, all right? This actually isn't that bad of a trade. It's just I would watch this low massively, okay? Uh, we could even like shorten it to that. If you're VIP3, right, with some of the links that I have in my description, you get exclusive VIP3, which means you pay less for fees, 30% less for fees, which means you can viably take a trade like this because you won't get eaten alive uh, by, the, by the exchange, right? So we can see here, yes, 0.6% uh, here uh, for a potential trade down to this target. And if you want to really run with it, then we have the 15-minute volume weighted ATR band. We have the 60-minute volume weighted ATR band. And uh, what is that? Is that the four-hour? Is that the four? That's the four-hour, isn't it? We're going to call it the four-hour. I think it's the four-hour. The four-hour volume weighted ATR band here, okay? And that's it. That's the video. Have a fantastic day. Join us in the Discord. Join us in the Telegrams. And I will see you in the next one on Wednesday or Thursday or Friday. One of these days, okay? Peace. All right, I said I'd enter a trade. Let's enter a trade, okay? Boom, boom, we're in, okay? Let's just see how that goes.